Hello, this is Theodora your daughter Nevels again. And tonight I'm gonna show you what I'm cooking for my husband who has an, uh, rheumatoid arthritis and inflammation all over his body. So I have to be very careful of what he, what I give to him. But before that, I have to thank the Lord for everything that is given to us, even simple food. I want to uh, thank Him for everything that He's giving in my life, for the blessings and grace to you and peace to you from our God, our Father, through Jesus Christ. And I have only three simple, simple, very simple ingredients. I got garlic, which I'm going to chop it a little bit. Not really uh, very small. I'm not that person, you know, that really very meticulous with cooking. Sometimes I eyeball it. And my husband, he used measuring cup, but I don't do it. You know why? I learned it from my mother. My mother never used measuring cup. But my husband, no. He will look for his measuring cup. Me, no. Sometimes I make him a kind of surprise while I'm cooking, even I don't have measuring cups, kind of a taste good. Sometimes I cannot eat my, my own cooking, so I go out and eat in the restaurant. Just kidding. Ah, yeah, I did, today. Uh, so, three simple ingredients that I have. I asked him if he wants some uh, ground turkey, because that we used to, uh, he used to eat, and said no. From now, elimination diet, as he said. That elimination diet, he needs to know what is causing him to have inflammation. Because once he has inflammation, his uh, uh, the arthritis is really acting up. Right now, he said he has a dull pain, which is okay because he's been working in, uh, in his garden. So, uh, I'll show you what kind of oil I use. But again, he's kind of uh, not really very happy when I use oil because he wants everything like water. But you now I'll just three drops. I think it will not hurt him. So kind of give it three drops. There, that's the three drops. Again, I'm telling you, I'm not a cook. I only learned it because uh, he didn't want to eat out, and uh, so I learned to cook and. Diversify my cooking. Before he was, he cannot able to eat uh, green beans, and he loves chili. But again, he's an elimination diet, so I cannot give him beans again. I'm sorry, I'm talking, uh, talking. Uh, so I will just have his favorite actually, and he told you that he has this, uh, this. Uh, Lamb, calabaza, because we love calabaza. It's kind of a, you know what calabaza is, it's flesh also. But we call it calabaza in our country, and he loves it. And then, a little bit of stir fry it. Stir the onions and ginger and garlic. Then I'm just a little. Um, so very simple, very simple. That will be his food for tonight. He doesn't complain, and he said, I love it. I can't, because my mother, when she cooks this calabaza, she will put meat, chicken, or whatever will make this taste good. But for my husband, he just want uh, the calabaza and water, and I will do that. And you will see how he eat that. He will consume everything. So what I do, is with everything again. I'm not a very picky cook. Uh, cook uh, in cooking, I just put everything in my uh, my uh, wok, and then put a little bit of water and salt and salt and dash, and that's it. And then I have uh, basmati rice here. We switched to basmati rice, and it seems that it's helping him. I used to make uh, brown rice for him. Uh, but he said, but he found out that basmati is healthier than brown rice. So I switch again to to basmati rice. Every week, I have to wait. And he will tell me, I can't eat this because it's 
I'm having a problem, that's it. So I'll buy a, a lot of uh, whatever, and then I will just put it in the refrigerator and wait until he will tell me, oh, I can eat now. I got lots of things to do, lots of long beans. But again, he will tell me he cannot eat yet beans. So this is a sacrifice, but saying that uh, someone in your life who is in pain is not really very good because uh, uh, because of the feeling that he, when what he feels, also you also feel. Because when he's hurting, he will tell you, I'm not feeling well. But praise the Lord that uh, right now, he's, uh, he, the rheumatoid arthritis is going to be in control and the inflammation. So by doing this every night, because in the morning, he will eat, or uh, we also start eating uh, oatmeal. Now he switched to quinoa, but he's getting tired of it, so he's trying to make a dry rice like I do, we do in the Philippines, such as before going to school, before leaving the house in the morning, we have fried rice, and now I'm do doing the same thing for him. I'm uh, fried the rice in the morning, and then put some uh, uh, beans, no peas, and that's it. Then he's happy. Then in the uh, last time, uh, what do you eat on last time here? What do you have? Sometimes nothing. Well, sometimes nothing because the water just uh, go without because of the uh, of the inflammation. But I I uh, filter my water. I don't get direct from uh, the, the faucet, and I boil my drinking water. So, uh, because of my, uh, of what's going on in his body. He drinks a lot of water now. So I put a little bit of uh, water, like that, and then I'll put salt. Very simple. No, nothing, no meat. No shrimp, no fish. Uh, then I have dash, and I put basil and lots of uh, lots of uh, herbs and then basil. That's it. And then I cover it. Wait till it gets soft, that's crust, and ready to be to serve, to serve. And that's it for now. And then I will, I will show you what else we I put on the table for him every night. Oh, by the way, uh, maybe I'm gonna. This is saluyo, but I do not know the name of this in English. What is saluyo? Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna. Uh, boil, I steam this and put some salt also, and that will be. Sorry, I'm not. I'm being sloppy with my cutting. I'm not very good in in uh, cutting. I just cut. Then I will kind of uh, boil it a little bit and put the uh, put salt also and put it on the table and that's it for this uh, for side, side dish. So as you see, everything is uh, vegetable. And he started at, when did we, then, when did we start eating, uh, having vegetable carrot? Seven years ago? Seven years ago. Um, we've been doing this. And I got, I learned to love it. when. It told me to change my diet because of my stomach problem. That's another issue that I will let you know why I had that. Um, I have to change my diet too. And I couldn't submit to what he said to me that I need to just eat vegetables. And I told him I had nothing to eat except this. And I was really upset because of changing from whatever you were eating before, like red meat, to Vegetable, it was kind of a, 
kind of a hard, and I was not really happy. But then I was just uh, blessed because uh, during the time when he was very sick, I got sick too. And then he told me we need to change our diet. We need to go on a strict diet. And it, how many days did you take the other kind of diet? There are 10 days, 14 days, uh, strict, uh, strict uh, raw vegetable, right? The elimination is on. Elimination. But again, by the grace of God, I was able to accept it and learn how to eat it. And I'll see you when he's ready to eat. And I'll set the table for you. And you will see what else he, I put on the table for him. Thank you. While we are waiting for my uh, vegetable, the calabasa, I'm going to sing a little bit song for you. And then I'll serve the calabasa to my husband. Her red meat. She loves her pork, and we cannot have that anymore. 
and I'm glad because sometimes it's good not to have those because of well, if you have a problem, you really need to see which one do you prefer. Having good, uh, uh, you know, our tongue is very simple. Sin, not simple, sinful. Because when it tastes good in your tongue, say, oh, you compromise. You say, oh, you know, just a little bit, just a little bit. Until you don't notice that you are already eating a lot. And then the next day, say, I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling good. Then, the next time again, you forget the pain, or here comes another kind of meat. And then you compromise again. Oh, just a little bit here, a little bit there. Then the next day, you don't feel good again. And then you say, oh, why did I do it to myself? Why did I do it to myself? Well, the reason why I'm saying that, because I was in and out of the urgent care because of the stomach problem. I didn't know that I have this big, big problem on my stomach. And when my husband said to me that I need to change my diet, I was not happy. I was angry because I will miss my red meat, my seafood, my not much of pork, uh, chicken. But I was really going down and down and down. I thought I was going to die. But then, then I realized that it's not my time yet, so I need to really change my attitude. Although, I miss all those food, but not my stomach. Again, I will be serving now this, this, uh, can you see? It's good, right? Edible. Very edible. I said, I have the food, I have salad. Oh, by the way, this green, Lettuce from Garrett's Garden, and then, and I have my dessert, three dates. For my for my rice, brown basmati rice, and here is the cook, calabasa and string beans. And let's see if Garrett will like it. Hopefully, no meat. And, Lord, we just thank you again for this food, for the blessings of God, Lord, which is exalted in the holy name of our own name. So, Lord, thank you so much again, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Dora. I'm going to test this. And before you start asking me how is it, it's usually three, four times. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I'm going to test it and see how it goes. So start out with a little bit of green beans. How is it, Gerard? Cooked perfect, okay. not too over, not overcooked. That's what my husband always telling me. But now for the if he's telling the truth, okay. Mmm, that's good. See, I told you. Ever since we switched to him, him, because sometimes I go out with my sisters, I cannot have little chicken here. But that's all I can have: chicken or fish. We cannot have red meat, nor pork, or lamb. And I enjoy this food because it's really good for your body. Okay, and I'll see you again next time. I'll let you know what I'm going to cook. If you are interested for the recipe, I will be willing to give it to you. Very simple. Thank you, Dora. Uh, be sure and subscribe to us so you don't miss an episode. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate it time you spent with us. So thank you.